But y'all want to get in, in, in my business partner's pants. Leave Nisha alone. You know what I mean? Me and Greg, me and Greg self got the cuffs on her. Shit, baby. Yeah. We not letting that happen. Greg, my man. That's a fact. Jay Martin said it's over tonight. Most boring series ever. Yo, bro, I agree. Because they got cracked early. Three nothing. They made it garbage for us, man. Yeah. Right now, we supposed to be two apiece going in the night like it's a war. We supposed to be going in the night like it's a war. Yeah. But like y'all said, I just don't see it. I agree with y'all. I don't see it neither. I don't see it. Yeah. They got to figure that part of the game out, man. They got to. So, let's move on. We can get back into the Mavericks and the Celtics getting towards the end of the show because y'all know this is a big thing tonight. Boys. You know what I mean? Shout out to for real quick to stay on these sports. Shout out to my Yankees too, man. Yeah. Shout out to my Yankees. They doing what they can do. Even though they got killed by the Boston Red Sox, that's fine. That's fine. Boston, y'all are hurting this year. Y'all can have those two wins, my dude. You know what I mean? We was burnt out all week, all of the hard matchups we had, man. Yeah. Yankees needed a break. Feet for days, yeah. Yeah. They waiting, Nish. They waiting. Yeah, baby. Shout out to Monkey Man, pause. Make sure y'all go stream my man Greg Self Music. Extra fire. Yeah. That's a fact. Yo, Greg. And uh, we got to bring you on the morning show. We got to do that one time too. Maybe this week if you free. Shit, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got to bring you on the morning show. This past few days got me mad. Let's talk about it. Why you mad, my dude? Yeah. We always talk good smoke in here. When? I could come tonight. I was supposed to... Yo, look. I'm supposed to get up and scarlet up and lotto tonight. You tell me to come to the studio tonight, I come to you and not them. Yeah, yeah. baby. That's a fact. They not in here on the ground with me. You is. I come to you tonight, Greg. Shit, baby. Let's talk about it. But yeah, if they pull it off, they could pull it off. All right, let's get into this Drake. Let me pull this up for y'all real quick because this is nasty. This is disgusting. I, I, I'm i not I'm not believing Drake, man. I'm not going to let y'all tell me nothing like this, man. Look. All right. So, Drake. Your boy, Drake. Y'all see that? Yeah. Okay. Let me know how y'all feeling about that. Yeah. Do you think Drake is being JV? What's goody, my guy? That's a fact. Shout out to Tibago. That's a fact. So wait, let's talk about this. Drake, do y'all think that Drake is being for real with his family ancestors? 
or is Drake like literally just, you know, trying to show y'all that he's black and he's proud? Yeah. What y'all think? Is Drake trying to prove that he's black and he's proud? Chef T, what's popping? Shea baby. Drake from my hometown. Okay, so let's talk about it, Monkey Man. You said he's from your hometown in uh, Ontario, Canada, right? Facts. But now he's in, I guess, Memphis, chilling with the black people, eating, um, you know, macaroni and cheese and fried chicken now. Yeah. He went from eating oysters and uh, shrimps on the barbies to now eating, you know, ribs and macaroni and cheese again. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Shea baby. Did Kendrick Lamar really get to him like that? That he had to reach back out to the family? Let's talk about this for a second. Did he really get to him like that? I think he embarrassed his father more. Great. Yo, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, if I'm the family, I'm like, why are you popping out now? Yeah. But a lot of people been saying, no, Drake always goes to Memphis. Drake always shot a video in Memphis. That's what Drake wanted y'all to believe. Drake is scared of Memphis. Niggas get dropped off in Memphis. Drake is trying to stay out of Memphis. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that now. They dropping niggas off in Memphis. And you know, it's but so much rap a lot can do out in Memphis. And it's not like his pops is some big time Pee Wee Kirkland drug dealer, hustler, that killer, some. Like, he's somebody people are going to be scared of out there in Texas. No. Yeah. I mean, in uh, Memphis. No. You see what happened to Young Dolph? It will definitely happen to Drake. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I know a lot of this stuff seems a little bit funny to me because I'm like, why is Drake out there in Memphis all of a sudden? Is he going to move out there? I know he lives in Texas. He sold a Cali house, and the Canada house is out of there. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Is Drake trying to get back in Memphis and get around his family for protection? I don't know. Does he trust um, Jay Prince and them out in Texas? You know what I mean? Delanto, what's popping? Yeah. I see you out there. Okay, laugh out loud. His start of his career. He posted his Drew Roots, but he's straight G now. I guess hanging with the gangs used to be Drake, but now the whole Ghost Rider thing screwed up that. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying, bro. Monkey Man, pause. I see you out there. Shit, baby. That's what I'm saying. All of this stuff seems a little crazy to me because it's like, you know, I'm still not figuring out why all of this is happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why is he in Memphis? This is twice in one month. I showed y'all before when he when he was out there with the whole family, man. You know what I mean? Took a picture with the whole family. He even tried to blend in. He had the tight white shorts on with the black shirts, with the black sneakers, with the black socks. Feet looking hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Feet looking hot out there, all black on. He tried to blend in, no jewelry. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If this is your family and you so down with them and you trust them, why are you blending in? You go to your son's soccer game, you got the rollie on like this, you got the uh the uh the cashmere sweater over the baggy slacks, right? So you got your son's game watching the golf uh soccer game, looking like you ready to go play golf, but then you go hang out with the the uh your hood and and uh Memphis, no jewelry on with tight white shorts on. And looking like you ain't getting to the money out there. Yeah. You know, when I go see JD Kiss and he's with his family where he grew up at and everything like that, that nigga got on all his jewelry. Yeah. That nigga got on everything. You know what I mean? Not caring one bit about what's going on out there. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. If you're from there and your family's from there, and you're used to being from around there, you are gonna wear your jewelry. Yeah. Okay, for instance, let's talk about this. If you know Shea Baby, right? I am 
not from the Bronx, but my father was born and raised in the Bronx. Hell, we still own buildings in the Bronx on that corner. That's our block. If you know what, you know that's our block. That's our corner. Over 50, 60, 70 years, that's our corner in the uh, in the Bronx. That's a fact. Baby. But I'm not from around there. But my father grew up there in that in that house on the corner in the Bronx. I'm not gonna get the address. Everybody, if you know me, you know I'm not capping. You know me from either upstate Westchester, New York, or you know me from the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about this. The reason I'm bringing that up is. Still to this day, if I go to my grandmother's block, I'm not taking ju all jewelry on. Yeah. All jewelry on if I want to. Blowing butt on the corner. No security. Banging out like it's nothing. Shit, baby. Yeah. Because I'm comfortable from there. I've been there my whole life, fam. And it's nasty around there right now. It's like shot ragging in, in that neighborhood. Yeah. You niggas might take me out. Shit, baby. But what I'm saying is, is that me just being over there my whole life since I was like three, four, five years old. I told you I was born in the Bronx on the Grand Concourse. You know what I mean? Hit record, we in the hills. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. So, so, like I say, but my father made sure that we understood the grassroots kept us in the hood. We played basketball in the hood. You know what I mean? Niggas was outside in the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I kind of, I don't know if Drake has really been outside in these places before, y'all. I can't hold you. I can't co-sign these things for Drake. I can't. Shit, baby. I can't. I can't co-sign it because I see no jewelry on and I see security. If you from these places, you know you comfortable, man. You know what I mean? You know you comfortable. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It gets it, it gets different outside when you when you really do these things. Hit these like buttons, man. We lit right now. This live has not went down from 100 people yet. Let's, let's get it popping. Come Shit, on. Baby. Hit them like buttons. So that's what I'm saying, man. You know. See, now we got a troll in here. We got a coach player. We got haters in here. Yeah. But you think I'm Pop Smoke? I'm going to give you my address? Come on, man. Shit, get out of here, man. Let's speak reasonable here. Get him out of here, niece. Shout out to Enzo. That's a fact. Dirty, 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 dirty. Good morning, Andrea. That's a fact. Yeah. That's the moral of the story. Just be real. You know what I'm saying? So, if you would have seen me with a picture, right, on the corner in the Bronx with all the wolves, you know what I mean? Niggas that look at that picture and say, no, Shay's real. Shay's been out. Shay's out. Shay's outside. Tell you. Shay, Shay's from there. Yeah. They can't say that because they know I'm from there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Can y'all show me? We seen a lot of these pictures of Drake from the grassy, right? We just seen a picture the other day. Somebody posted a picture hating on Drake, uh, him and some little kid. Sit, um, he was sitting on the kid's lap. They're like 12, 13 years old in a prep school. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is, is that you, you know, if we do, we gotta hear some stories or see some pictures of Drake as a kid outside of Memphis. You know, uh, eating a eating some type of a, a rib in his hand, something. Put a glizzy in his hand at least. <laughs> and put him outside and yeah. say that, show us the proof that he's really out there. Nah, man, I feel like, like men, uh, um, after they, you know, Rick Ross was calling him WB, the other homeboy on Kendrick Lamar was calling him what he was calling him. You know, he felt like he had something to prove. And he wanted to go outside and show you. And there's nothing wrong with that, Drake. You know what I mean? But Drake, you are not average. You're not a regular dude, Drake. Shit, baby. You know what I'm saying? You're not regular, Drake. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So it's okay. You don't got to prove nothing to nobody. 
You know, you could have got yourself hurt trying to prove something to somebody these past couple of weekends. But, you know, you pay, the, you pay some bills this weekend. Security got to get paid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we can't be mad at that. Security made a few dollars. And it's, you know, that's that. Yeah. It's all about per. Yeah, it is. <coughs> yeah, Enzo, you feel me? I mean, I don't want to go as far as saying, like, Drake, I need you to prove this to me. But I'm just saying, like, you know, it's a little bit suspect to see Drake in these um, type of circumstances when he don't have to be. You know what I mean? All of a sudden now. He don't have to do this. There's a reason he's doing this. You know what I mean? He ain't doing this from the heart. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because like I said, any given time, you know, and he's getting to the bag. I don't, I'm not going to say he got Drake money, but he's not broke. He's a millionaire too. You know what I mean? But, you know, it, it, it's not that, you know, I'm just saying, when you're used to doing this stuff and you're comfortable in this lifestyle, it just never leaves you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kiss don't got to stand on the block. He don't have to. He can sit in his mansion all day long. You know what I mean? But those, those are where his friends are, are from. You know, we don't bring niggas to your house. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he goes, you know, he, he's comfortable out there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. That's why Kiss is a real one. You know, you're liable to be walking down the street to the bodega and Kiss is on the corner of a multi-millionaire and he taking pictures with you, hanging outside with you. That's what I'm saying. Gotta respect it. It's just a matter of time so I go outside and sit on the crates and go live with Kiss, which for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. That's a fact. But yeah, man. You know, it, it's just, you know, a lot of these people you know, they feel that 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 Drake is trying to prove something to, to the to the people. And I agree with them. I don't know if Drake has anything. I don't think Drake needs to prove anything. You know what I mean? Drake, you're not regular, bro. I keep saying this. You know what I'm saying? You got four or five mansions in the, the most expensive parts of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you ain't bring your ass to New York yet, but you know, you already know what the vibes is out here. You ain't trying to do that. Because, you know, all of that Jake Prince shit don't hold no weight when you get into the New York drill market. And, you know, yeah. once them drillers start running around and put that Pooh Shiesty mask on, they not worried about no Jake Prince. They tell Jake Prince they eat a Frank. That's a fact. One of these drill niggas from the Bronx or Brooklyn, one of these young boys. They not worried about no Jake Prince. They try to tell him, come get it in blood, Drake. That's a fact. That's a fact. These young boys is wild. All right. So we agree. Drake got to show us some more out there in Memphis, man. You know what I mean? Even though he's showing his dad some love. But we're going to see if he's really outside or not. You know what I mean? Now, I wanted to get into this. This is nasty, man. How many times is this going to happen? How many times is this going to happen? Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know if y'all remember the other guy's name. I forgot what his name was. I think his name was um Country, Big Country, I think his name was. Yeah. That was, I'm not sure. I think it was Big Country that was on 1017 before. But he died of the same type of situation. They say, say, they say he died over a lean overdose, which is crazy to me because I'm just trying to figure out how are all of these 10, 17 artists passing away off the same situations. This is a little bit nasty work to me, if you ask me. Yeah. Shout out to, I can't pronounce her name, but Mrs. Yes. Yeah. Can somebody pronounce that for me? I can't pronounce it. But yeah. Drake don't even know how Mac Drake. <laughs>